Hi all, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to use Verilog A in Cadence Virtuoso IC 615. So, first of all, I will be creating a separate library for uh, Verilog A. So, I will be giving some name. I'll just give this name uh, tutorial very log a I'll just press ok so since here uh, in as you as you remember in earlier I shown you that we have to attach the uh, technology library here which we will be going for designing but it's, it is a very log uh, it's it's coding so we need we need not to attach any library file so I'll be clicking on this do not need process information I'll just press ok so this uh, library will be created here okay so the next thing is I'll be creating cell view. So while creating cell view, I'll just uh, so I'm for this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use uh, Verilog by demonstrating an example of uh, uh, voltage dead band amplifier. So it's uh, it's an amplifier where we define certain range of our voltage uh, of input for which the there is no response at the output. Okay, so I'll just give this name VDBA. And uh, this view I have to change it to Verilog A. So this is important here. Uh, if it is schematic, then we will go as usual. So for a Verilog A, you have to change a view here. And later on, I will be discussing about this Verilog AMS also and VHDR, VHDR AMS. So for now, Verilog A, just press OK. So this window will come. So by default, it's coming everything. So I'll just uh, delete it. I'll copy my code here. So which I have uh, written for this is a very low dead band amplifier. So there are two ways to write this code. One is here and another is you can go directly to your main uh, folder where this is and go to that folder inside and this very log A is here and you can just change it here. Since I haven't saved it here that's why it's not showing. If, if I go again here, uh, I'll save it here. Uh, now it's asking to do you want to create a symbol for it? Yes, we want to create a symbol because we are going to use this code, it will, it will generate a circuit, a block, which we are going to use for our, uh, some, some, for some application, okay. So yes, so it is asking for input and output, okay. And if you can see here, that uh, two pins are here, I have defined the code, input and output, so I will just keep it like that. And one more thing is there. Okay, so I'll just delete this. So this is as usual, like we used to create symbol. Just check and save it, close it. So here in this, I had defined this minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5 range for which my amplifier VDBA it won't in this particular range there will there won't be any output. I want that thing. Okay. So this gain I have kept as one from zero to infinity. And, uh, you can go to code details later. So just try to focus on this. Uh, procedure so now if I go here I will check here to this folder it will show me this code here okay so if I want to do any modifications so I can do it here also so there is no need to go uh, in here to do it so once you have created the symbol just close this and uh, what I will be doing next is I will be creating a cell view where I will be using this symbol so I will create a cell view which uh, I will give this test and this view I will change schematic okay because I am going to use that symbol here so now the procedure is simple like uh, going I will browse and I will bring that symbol which I have created for VDBA this one here press here and uh, give pins in and out here input output I will keep the input output Okay, here one and uh, one here. Just connect them. Save it and launch the ADL. So here, uh, for in case of very log A, there is no need to do setup as uh, most of people will be knowing, but uh, environment and all that. And, uh, it, it, that we have to do in VHL, AMS and all that. So for now, it just don't do anything here. And as simple, just give some stimuli here. In so let's give, uh, let's say I'm giving some sine wave, and I'll give some amplitude of 0 0.9, and uh, let's say cell phase is zero, and I'm giving a frequency of 10 megahertz. Okay, that's it. 
and uh, since I want to plot the input and output, I want to see the variation with time for which it's changing or not. So I'll just give here some stopping time. I want accuracy more, and I'll select the outputs here. These two. That's it, and I'll run it. Okay. So I have defined my code that minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. Okay. So if if you see this here, I'm just zooming it. So I'll just press V here. V is for vertical. So it is approximately 0.5 around like that. And if you go this side, it is also minus 0.5. Okay. Now let's let's say I will just go here to my code which I have saved here in this one. Uh, very long way. I'll just go here. In sub this 0.5, I'll make it mm, 0.75. Okay. So let's see the variation. I'll just check and save it, and I'll save it here again. This one, and I'll run it. So now the dead band width should be more. So if you can see here, now let's uh, I'll, I'll zoom it. So it is increased. Okay. So you see it's around 0.75, and uh, similarly here. It's minus point seven five. Okay, this is the input where it is happening. So this is how we use Verilog A in KDS Virtual So IC six one five and six one six. And uh, in, in coming videos, I'll, I'll be showing you using how to use Verilog AMS. While we'll club both analog circuits, uh, I'll, I'll I'll club some circuit here and uh, I, I'll I'll demonstrate how to use both codes and uh, circuits on the same work workspace.